guys, uh, welcome to today's tonight's extra video. We spent the day at the barn today with our photographer, and we just had a, such an enjoyable day. We went home, had dinner, and now we're back. His riding lesson night is our group night, and I think our friends are driving in their horse, and I don't know who Sophie's riding, because she still likes to ride Denver in some lessons, every other lesson, so let's go see. So Denver is already being ridden twice tonight. So you have to ride your horse. All right, so I have a plan. I have a plan. I thought this through. I have a plan. We I have, have a plan too. I have a plan too. To jump the cow jump, but a way lower. Yeah, you want to jump the cow jump? Yeah. All right, so that's Sophie's the plan tonight. <laughs> All right, so um, the plan is that, okay. So I have this bucket here filled with all of our like medical stuff medical supplies and we can't store it oh, anywhere apparently. this is all like our first aid stuff our scissors all the stuff that we need all of our bathing sponges so my van I carry everything in there like I have buckets and I've just have so much stuff out in my van that I carry from barn to barn so what I decided to do was I'm gonna clean this thing put everything in one spot and put it in the back of my van so I have like a traveling horse first aid kit and all the stuff that I need. So it always is with me. Is that such a good idea? The only problem is that I have to find a spot for all this. So this I already brought out of the locker room. I just need to take that in the, to the barn. Okay, fits. Now I just need to like sort all my stuff and put it in there. It's gonna be an interesting lesson. All the kids are riding different horses. Sophie's riding her horse. Uh, Kate brought her horse. Oh, you're both wearing pink. Even though I can't wear my tan breeches anymore, because remember when Buddy stained them all and there's mud all over? Yeah. Still you can wear them for schooling. You just can't wear them for show. You've got to come to a show with us, Elizabeth. Yeah. One show. Do you see chickens? Whoever you want. Chance. Okay. Hi. So, who are you riding? I go. <laughs> like always. Are you glad? Jump. Hopefully he doesn't buck this time. I didn't like him because he bucked last time. Yeah, so he'll probably be better. He's always different each time. So she's riding Echo. She's riding Chance. She's riding Chino. Chino. So and Julie is riding a whole different horse that you guys haven't even seen since Fiona was here. What? She's riding Storm. Storm's being ridden right now. Storm's being ridden right now. All right, they're going to get. Her horse and then they got to get tacked up but it's a whole lot of crazy horses like it's all different usually we all ride kind of same but it's all different now but what's really crazy is that a new girl moved to our barn and dun, 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 she's a saddle fitter she's a saddle fitter, saddle fitter and she moved to the barn and now we're gonna see her and she's a saddle fitter <laughs> like all of us are like oh thank goodness he's gassy. oh he's gassy I don't want to tell who you're riding. You should go on your channel who you're riding, but I'm going to show you guys the bum. This is the bum. Who knows the name of this horse? Do you recognize him from his belly and his bum? Has Sophie ever ridden him? No. You found it? All right, so tell them the plan, Elizabeth. Okay, so she's going to change out um, the saddle she's using for this one because look how, look how perfect this is. Because they all want to match. The three amigos are all wearing pink today. Never happens. No, nobody planned it. They're all wearing pink. So, oh, Sophie's horse is peeing. <laughs> That's not. There is shavings. Oh, lucky! All right, so we have all the horses in a row here. You can see the pink boy. All the horses, all the parents sitting here, the kids, the pink crew. Look at they're sitting there in the chair. Julia's the same age as Sophie, and yet she's so little. That's so cute. That's a whole lot of bays. Why? Wayne told me to go back. <laughs> what? Oh, because it's too wet. Oh, yeah, it is wet. Well, I mean, a whole lesson. A whole bunch of lessons were just out here. Just for a minute. Oh, Sailor. Oh, someone, may, maybe one of the horses doesn't like Sailor. Oh, we don't know. <laughs> chancy Pantsy. Fancy Chancy. That's what we should call them. Fancy Chancy with the muddy feet. All right, so we are up. We got 
Fancy Chancy. I'm calling him Fancy Chancy. No, Chancy Pants. Chancy Pants. He's looking at that door like, how can I get out? Chance is looking super not interested. He's like, really? You're going to rob me today, Sophie? I'm not really into that. Look at that tail. Careful, you might think part way through. When you feel like you're fed up with heartbreak, and you know that you can't take another day. Well, that's not okay. Wiggle, wiggle the inside. He looks good with his head down. Yeah, a couple times. Don't get run over. So all the little kids are down here. Not all the little kids, but the younger kids. The 12 year olds. Keep going, Kate. You're doing good, Julia. Elbows bent, all body, okay? Good boy, sailor. There, keep rubbing his neck. Pay attention to your horse, not everybody else. Side. Look at Julia. Like, that's just amazing. I feel like that's the pony for her. Good. Soften when you stand there. Squeeze and tall. Squeeze and tall. Outside, outside, outside. Good. That's okay. Inside, Kate. Don't let his nose peek out. There. Rub his neck when he starts softening a little bit. And then squeeze him back forward. Circle there. Circle there. So if he's going to run you over. Posting, posting. Outside leg. Leg. Keep him in front of the leg, pressing forwards again. Good boy. Inside, inside. Good. Keep working through. Got to get into balance and relax neck muscles, okay? He's put his head down a few times. Soften, Sophie. Don't just hold his face. All right, let's have you, you, have a walk, have a walk. Julie, have a walk. And then he pinned his ears at Duke? Yeah, we're going to walk Duke, and we're going to go from the, the cow around. Yeah. He, 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 he likes Chino. Chino's great. Chino's a good. There's no mud beside me. Very small Do you want me to come stand beside you? What? Oh, this thing? Hold on. Did you see him? Look at his two fingers in here and a whole fist in here but when it just sits yeah like it just it just well people's fist size are bigger and smaller it just moves forward and everybody thinks it's tight it's the weirdest thing all right um so every time a horse comes up to chance that he doesn't know he pins his ears at it well that's okay tonight we're running on the right track Did you have a good lesson? Good. Good lesson? <laughs> she, so she was the only one that wasn't quite sure, but I thought it looked amazing. You're supposed to. Yeah. Like he's so short. 
I know. You just have to get used to him, that's all. I think you fit him beautifully. I like him, it's just he goes crazy. So what I hear is you need more turns on him. No. <laughs> and you loved him? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. What'd you think, handsome man? Yeah, I just fell. All right, such a good boy. All right, I'm going to go put some stuff on their feet. And he's going to get dewormed. All right, so exciting news. The saddle fitter that just moved in at this barn is just boarding here now. She used to have two thoroughbreds. She totally knew, like, the barn owner was talking to her about Chance. And she said she knows exactly what he probably needs. He has a long, high wither. He probably needs this. He needs this kind of, like, walking and... This kind of this, so we're in we're in the saddle shopping business. Chance is so good. I loved him. All right. <laughs> Sophie dewormed him. Give him dewormer. Yeah, he hasn't swallowed it yet. Put your hand there in case he spits it out. Because you have to put it back in. Did you eat it? I think he's holding it too. <laughs> Rub his neck. Like, uh, no, 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 not his, like in his mouth. Under his chin. We're headed home and I just wanted to tell you guys something so super important that I want to remember. I want to remember this fact for if Sylvie ever gets like worked up or worried or stressed out in the future with Chance. Um, the thing that was really amazing to me in this lesson with Chance and Sylvie was that there was a time when he was nervous about cows. He didn't do anything bad, but he would go out there and he would stop. And he would just look around and his ears would perk forward and he would not let them out of his sight. And so it got Sophie nervous because she doesn't she doesn't know him very well yet and she and she didn't know what he would do. And it turned out that he didn't do anything and he was really great about the cows. But Sophie took so much time. She took him outside so many times, walking him around, walking him around. She spent like at least a week going out there and working on him with these cows. And even when she would bring him into the barn, he would come around the corner and he would stop and he would look at those cows. And now he doesn't do that any of that anymore. He, he went out there today and didn't even think about cows, even though he jumped a cow, jumped. Oh, cow look. Jump. It's a baby. Please don't cross the road. Baby deer just standing there in the middle of the field. His mom is there somewhere. But anyways, it was all this slow work that Sophie did. And then each it time after my ride, I'd bring them down to the end. It Yeah, like it was all slow, Sophie, slow. It was Sophie taking him, slowly building him up and showing him every time that he could handle the cows and that it wasn't a big deal. It just was so repetitive and slow and and she wasn't mean to him. She wasn't demanding of him. She just let him experience it and learn that it was okay by going out there all the time. And I'm really proud of that. I'm proud of her. I'm proud of how she handled that with him. I'm proud of how he handled it. The sun, like the sunset is so bright. You can see it in the camera almost and or the sun yeah the sunset but anyway i just want to be able to remember that look back and remember that that she did amazing at supporting him through his first year at our barn and and it was amazing i'm proud of you so don't you know that